Welcome back. How many of the appliances and devices in your home are connected to the Internet? More than you might think. Now the Federal Trade Commission is offering a cash prize to the public for whoever can find a good way to protect security and vulnerabilities in those devices. And joining us for more on the Internet and things at home, Inspector Challenge is and benefits expert is watchdog uh, Jerry Zivik. Jerry, uh, well, whatever people come up with, I hope they have better security than the Democratic National Committee. Well, it's, it's hard not to have better security. What's happened is we all have what are known as smart homes. We have all these devices that run our security, run our, run our dishwasher, run our heater, and all these things are connected to the Internet. And by being connected to the Internet, everybody's at risk here. They're, they're connected between themselves and the Internet, so there are vulnerabilities. And the devices that we're running now are first generation devices and the hackers are like two or three generations ahead of us so the FTC has come up with this idea that they're going to have a, a prize of thirty five thousand dollars for whoever can come up with an idea to secure our devices it doesn't have to be a software program or it doesn't have to be on the cloud it could actually be in a device or something that we don't e haven't even imagined yet exists Well, how concerned is the FTC about this I mean have there been any examples of foreign attackers getting into uh, you know homes and 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 uh, having something to do with like for instance ma in many cases refrigerators are now uh, connected to the internet and they have security cameras with that? Well everything's interconnected and that interconnection connects them to our computers and our data that's in the cloud or in our machines so it's a huge risk your bank accounts your passwords anything you have can be hacked by, by these devices actually if you're not using that device on a regular basis you should just disconnect from the internet why is the FTC challenging the public and offering this contest to do this? I would imagine industry would be working around the clock on this, given what has been happening the last couple of months. Well, I think it's a really inspired idea. The, the prize money, is, it's a nice amount of money, $25,000. I don't mean to diminish it, but it's not a huge amount of money. What they're doing is they're doing it to create interest on the part of people because whoever creates this they will then own the intellectual property and they'll be able to sell it to any type of venture capital company. So if the FTC would give somebody a million dollars basically they would be funding somebody's research to make a lot of money elsewhere so there would be a conflict. We, we have less than a minute left but in the interim is there anything that people should be doing with all these devices at home to make them more safe well, as I said, what they, they should do is they should con disconnect wherever they're not using it. If you're not connecting to your security system uh, by your phone on a regular basis, just, on, just disable the app. Get rid of it from your phone completely. But I would like to point out that the FTC is taking applications from March 1st till March 27th, and you can go to the FTC.com and look for the application. The application should be available about March 1st. Okay, Jerry, thanks for letting us know about the threat. Your primetime headlines are coming up right after this break.